What is going on, everybody? Nobody's here yet. So what's going on, nobody? Let some people come in real fast while I do this test. Make sure I see the chat. Bam. Bam. All right, cool. Test print first. Sorry guys, I was getting a phone call. Teresa, what up, Rob Beats? I'm trying to be like you, man. What up, Teresa? Fidel just called me real fast. Uh, I didn't pick up the phone, though. Fidel, get on here, man. Get on here, Fidel. Y'all tell me if Fidel gets on here. All right, this is sufficient. It's not quite what I was looking for. Let me do it one more time. Fidel keeps on calling me. All right, that's good. Rob, I'm getting good at this, man. I'm getting good at this, Ra. I'm getting good at this, man. Hey, hey, what made you decide to go to do screen printing? I always wanted to do screen printing. What's going on, T-Town T-shirts? Everybody, listen, listen, listen. Despite popular belief, I'm going to put, put something on the record. And Rabitz, Rabitz is a screen printer, so he can vouch for me when I'm talking about this. Listen, I don't care what method you use garment decorator. I don't care if you have a DTG. I don't care if you have 22 DTGs. I don't care if you have a sublimation printer. I don't care if you have a DTF printer. I don't care if you do embroidery. When we all got in the game, everybody wanted to screen print. I, I don't care. I don't care what you say. I don't care what anybody says. Everybody wants to screen print. If you say you don't, then you're lying. Or maybe maybe you're not lying. Maybe it's just that you don't want to screen print because it's too much equipment or it's too messy. But everybody wants to be able to screen print if it was if it didn't require so much equipment. And if it didn't require the mess, and if it wasn't this or if it wasn't that, everybody wanted to screen. Everybody attempted to or thought about it, but decided that they couldn't because they didn't have the space or something like that. Everybody. I don't, I don't care what. I don't care. That's what, I per, that's what I think, personally. Personally. See, some people start out screaming. Screen print, screen print is the first jump. Yeah, but... Even at the first jump, screen printing, even though it's the first jump, it's, it's, one of, it's, it's kind of complicated. And it's a, it's a lot. Before you even get to print your first screen, it's a lot you got to understand. And it's a lot you got to learn. You know? All right, so I know this is going to come out good. This was just a test. Let me take it off. It's not done drying, but I don't need to dry it because this is not the shirt that's going on. But y'all see that puff? See that puff? Yeah, that's all I want to. I just wanted to test this out to make sure my screen was still working. So I'm going to put it on the official shirt that's going to go on right here. See that? Puffy ink, y'all. Puffy ink. 
Come on. Feel that? You hear that texture? That's Puff Ink. Shout out to Total Ink Solutions. Somebody tell Total Ink Solutions, I need some more of this. So somebody requested this shirt. So I'm going to make them one. You know, close friend of the fam. Yeah, Total Ink Solutions gave that to me to test out at um, Impressions. And I love it. And they got me. I'm going to order some more because I love this stuff. So this is the official shirt. I hope I don't mess it up. Sometimes the test goes right. And then you mess up the, the, the official garment. I'm going to try my best. Wish me luck. Wish me luck, wish me luck, wish me luck. Robbie's, I have no idea what I'm doing, bro. I don't know how to do this stuff. Um, I need my lint roller. I know that much. And this text is probably too big for the shirt. I'm trying to get the placement right. Let me see. That is too close to the neck. I got to hang it off a little bit. Fidel, are you on here yet? Let me see if Fidel is on here. Let me see if Fidel is on here. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Game changer. Puffy Ink. Is it new in the screen printing? No, Puffy Ink's been around for forever. Rob Beats can, can educate you guys on screen printing. Um, Puffy Ink's been around forever. y'all my off contact I don't have enough off contact on here at the bottom part don't like it still learning y'all still learning Good. It's still crispy, still good. <sighs> I suck at screen printing. Puff Ink has been around in the screen printing world. Yeah. Push with two hands, maybe. Yeah. I'll try that. I'll try that. I, I've seen, I've been watching screen printing videos and I, saw, I see people pushing with one, so I'm trying to be fancy. Yeah, but push hands, put two hands will probably give me uh, a better stroke all the way through so i'll try that on the next shirt i'm gonna do another one i'll try that on the next stroke thank you so much t-town t-shirts i appreciate that tip right there rob beats one hand or two hands <sighs> so what are you guys doing today tomorrow's my birthday i am i'm not a screen printer i was just thinking yeah you're right it makes more sense because I'd have more control with two hands versus trying to be fancy with one hand. Maybe more pressure. Two hands. All right, Demps. All right, Demps, I got y'all. Two hands. Two hands next time. This one is good, though. This one is good. I'm going to make another one. I'm going to make another one. Shout out to Bella Canvas. See, we got these Bellas. Shout out to Bella Canvas. This is style... Unisex style uh, 1501, right? I got, actually I got one woman's cut and one uni unisex Bella Canvas. And this is the medium unisex right here. Medium unisex long sleeve. And this is a, 
No, this is a small unisex long sleeve right here, because you guys can see it straight up, straight up and down. And this medium is a medium woman's right here. You can see how it flares out just a little bit. See how it flares out at the hips just a little bit and it contours in at the waist. Yeah, this is a this is the women's medium and the small one. Oh. <laughs> the small one is a is a men's uh unisex. Style 51 50, uh, 3501. Yeah, I didn't have enough ink on there and it's still wet. So I think I'm gonna press, I'm gonna do one more time, one more pass over. And yeah. Rob Beat says two hands. Aries in the house, happy birthday tomorrow. What are you doing for your birthday? Tomorrow I'm chilling, I'm not doing anything for my birthday. Friday I'm flying out to San Diego to hang out for a little while. Yeah. That thing is smoking, right? It's smoking. I'm about to catch fire. I don't know if I should attempt to go over it one more time. I don't know, because this area right here, I don't think I got enough ink down. Do I make it cool first? Should I make it cool down first before I go over it one more time? I'm trying to finish this uh, little 12 hat order. Last hat wants to keep breaking needles in one spot, but I'll get past it. Um, did you do the trick where you lower your, your foot, your presser foot? Lower down the presser foot? I, sh I got a video of three things Rakoma didn't tell you. Excuse me. Lower that presser foot and you'll stop getting needle breaks. Or that area of that digitized design might have too much density in it. All right, so I'm gonna try to go over it one more time. It's all dry. This area is not dry, actually. So I got some instructions when I go over it one more time to, uh, yeah, let it cool down. Um, not wet to touch, okay. Yeah, um, Fidel told me that um, when I go over it this time, don't put too much pressure on it because I'm just trying to get ink on the top layer that's uh, not that opaque. Does that make sense? Yeah. So only this part right here is not dry. Everything else is pretty much dry. I'll let it cool a little bit and then I'll go over it again. But this is the first one I did right here. Wonder if you can get that flash more level to the shirt. Um, it's it's on a tilt. I don't think it, it, it has any adjustment where like it can be it even. Ra, is it possible for this thing to be even? Mine is like tilted forward. I don't think it can be even. I'm not sure. Oh, yes, it can. Okay. I got to adjust this nut right here to swing it up. Okay, okay, okay. Rookie. Okay, yeah, it's a nut right here that I can swing it back. All right. See if I can adjust that real fast. Lefty Lucy. Yeah, I can't do that right now. Yeah, I can't adjust that right now. I don't want to be straining on camera, so. I'm going to let it cool down a little bit more and I'll go over it one more time. I don't want to be straining on camera. I'm already starting to break a little sweat, you know what I mean? Okay, all right. See? Y'all helping me out, man. I appreciate it. Y'all helping me out. Y'all make me look at things differently. I thought it was just permanently stuck like that. But yeah, so it can be leveled. Okay. I was thinking, I'm like, this is a crappy, this Riley Hopkins is crappy. <laughs> I think it might be cooled down enough. I don't know. 
It's a little bit warm, but right, I'm going to go for it, man. I'm going to go for it. I'm going to go for it. All right, light coat. I barely applied any pressure to that. I don't know if that's going to work or not. It definitely applied some stuff on the top. It definitely did. Definitely applied some on the top, so that worked. <laughs> so what are you guys doing, man? How, how was your day today? Tell me how your day today was. What do you guys think about that video I just dropped about that right there? That looked good in the stroke. Yeah, um, it was pretty good. Um, it, it, got, it got the ink on the top layer. If I would have pressed too hard, it would have smeared the ink all over and asked me how I know because that's what I've been doing since I've been practicing screen printing. And now I'm developing a little bit of technique, a little, just a little, just a little, just a little tiny bit. Just a little tiny bit. And what about the, uh, I did that Rakoma video so, so the uh, haters can see the Rakoma running like crazy. I don't do a lot of those because when I, when I get my, my large or my medium to small orders, I like to knock them out. So, but I just thought, you know, I hadn't posted anything. So I wanted to drop both videos at the same time. So to show how to multitask while this uh, printer's print. Weird looking. That is super puffy, but it's very weird looking. Cause weird looking. Oh my god, that's weird looking. I'm gonna show it to y'all a little bit in a little bit. I'm gonna let that dry. I'm not gonna hit it again. I'm gonna. They're not gonna get this shirt. I want to do I want to give them a shirt where I do one pass but I want to get it nice I want to get a nice coating um, on there watch your hat video this morning embroidering Carhartt vest right now cool so get that money get that money I love embroidering thick items on our uh, industrial machines man. it was a very rainy day here overall good day where are you at Nora it was rainy Yo, thank you. Thank you so much. On again, Andre Glenn. This is super puffy. Sheesh. I'm going to have to hit that off with a heat press to smooth it all out. Like with a light heat press. To not, not, I can't smush it down too much. I got to hit it with a light heat press to smooth it all out. Michigan. Michigan in the building. Yeah. What made me want to get into screen printing? I think I um, answered that question a little bit earlier. Um, I wanted to get into screen. I think everybody, when they first got into the t-shirt game, wanted to get into screen printing, but it's just a lot involved with screen printing. So, so you know, no, most people don't have it. Most people don't get it. Most people don't get into it because they don't have all the space for all the equipment and stuff like that. But now that I have a little bit of space, I'm trying it out again. First attempt, when I didn't have enough space and I was in my garage at my house, that failed. I tried to cut corners and make my own um, homemade um, exposure unit. Failed, you know. Yeah, so I'll definitely be adding details to the service. Definitely will be adding DTF as a service, yes. So if you want a DTF order right now, send me your design, awproductions at gmail.com. I got you. This is very, very puffy. I'll show it to you guys in a little bit. Let me, let me sit this here for a second. If you want to place a DTF order for right now, just send your design to awproductions at gmail.com. I am accepting 
orders of 10 quantities of 10 DTFs. I'm not doing anything less than 10. All right. But yeah, I am taking orders uh, right now via email. I'm going to set some stuff up on my uh, on my website soon. But yeah, you need a lot of space. You need a dark room, exposure unit, all that stuff. If you want to do it the traditional way. I don't do it like that, so... All right, this got to be the one right here. Let me concentrate, y'all. Give me a second. I'm going to concentrate. Fingers crossed for me. Fingers crossed for me. Uh, see, when you hit, it's not looking so good. I'll tell you guys what happened in a second. Very light, very light, even, but very light. I don't know what I should do. I'm gonna hit it off again. I'm gonna go a little lighter. time because right here looks a little spotty. I don't want those spots. I want to make it smoother. Ugh. Don't think I cleared the screen. Clear the screen. All right, that looks good, that looks good, that looks good. I think that's gonna be the one that I give to her. Yeah. Can we smash the like button? Yeah, smash the like button. I wasn't asking anybody to smash the like button because this video is just, I just wanted to come on for a little bit and talk to you guys. Yeah. Hello everyone. I need 11 by 17 DTF fam. Um. Yeah, I can do that. This this DTF prints out 13 by 19. That's the max size. So yeah, I got you. Mm, beyond everything, LLC. How much per per piece? Okay, yeah, I'm doing quantities of 10, and as of right now, I'm doing. I don't wanna. I didn't make up my price yet. Okay. Uh, Fidel keeps on calling me. Let me, let me, can I text him on my Apple Watch? Let me see something. Um, can y'all hear me, by the way? Let me see if I could text him. Oh, shoot. <laughs> I'm always forgetting. I'm always forgetting. Why doesn't Fidel just get on the live? Fidel, you know, get on the live, man. He probably doesn't know I'm online. Messenger. Fidel. On live, I'm live, okay, get on, all right, cool, all right, that worked, mm -hmm. I'm, I think I'm going to do two more, two more of these shirts right here, just for practice. I outgrew this space fast, right? That's right, Lucy. I did outgrow this space. What's going on, CTR shirts? Question, which method of printing do you like the most? Ooh, that's tough. That's tough. 
Is embroidery considered printing? Yes or no? In the comments. Is embroidery considered printing? I need to know that first. Is embroidery considered printing, guys? I need to know. I need to know. But let me show y'all this last one I did where I went over it twice. It looks sickening. Look at this. You see the pores in this? This is crazy. It's like weird. It's got pores. It's got pores. It's weird. But the puff is like crazy. See those pores right there? Yeah, that's disgusting looking. It's very weird looking. Yeah. Don't like it that much. At all. It looks terrible. <laughs> I love the puff. Okay, so if embroider is cons if embroidery is considered printing, then embroidery is my favorite method. Embroidery is my favorite method. You guys know I love embroidery. I embroider every day. I embroider pretty much every day, guys. I love embroidery. I got I got that covered T Town T shirts. I got a device that's gonna let me do that. I have a device that's gonna let me bring people on with me. Bring people on with me. I just haven't started using it yet. Fidel, what's going on? Fidel kept on trying to call me. I was I just I just texted you, Fidel. Oh, no. Watch is trying to talk to me. What's going on, Fidel? Sorry I didn't pick up your call, man. I was I'm I'm live right now. Do you like puff screen printing better than puff vinyl? Uh yes. Yes, I do. I do. I'm gonna go over one more time, guys. I don't, I'm not satisfied with that. So, see, before the first shirt like that I did, it was a cream shirt. Black shirt is the black shirts are acting a little different. So, I'm strategizing in my head right now while this cools down how I'm going to do this, how I'm going to go over it. I'll figure it out. What's going on, Sonia Seeger? What's going on, Sonia Siegler? Okay, you use Restream. I've never, I've never tried to Restream. Mm. Demp said, it's about time you got on here, Fidel Elvira. Thank you for answering that question. Yeah, embroidery is, embroidery is my favorite. Embroidery is my favorite. Um, embroidery followed by DTG, I guess. I like screen printing a lot, to be honest. But the reason why I can't claim screen printing yet because I, I haven't got it down packed. You guys see I'm only doing one color. And I'm still working on my skills, but I then the reason why I say screen printing is because I see the profit potential in it. Huge profit potential. So I'm gonna go ahead and go do it again. Nice and solid. I went like medium with a medium stroke that time. Medium stroke. Yo, Fidel, Fidel said something to me the other day, right? He was like, um, it's like some really, really good screen printers online. But when it comes to screen printing videos, like people don't really watch screen printing videos like that. People watch vinyl videos. People watch DTG videos. People watch DTF videos. People watch sublimation videos. But screen printing videos... People don't like, and, and I'm looking, I'm seeing people coming in and dipping out. And he's right. F screen printing does not get like a lot of play. Look at the smoke. Look at the smoke. Coming up. What's going on, Breezy Custom Creations? What's going on? The one that is Impressions Expo, this one. 
Yeah, this one, this Riley Hopkins wasn't at Impressions Expo. I think they had a different one. They come out with these new ones all the time. Yep, 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 yep. Nice and solid. Yes, yes. That's that's what they want. That's what they want. I got it. I got it. I got it. That's what they want. Hey guys, can I get a thumbs up? Why are you in the chat? Why are you why are you in here? Levite, what's up, dog? Look at me, man. I'm screen printing. Levite. I got something for you, bro. I got something for you. Levite, are you still screen printing? I love watching screen printing videos, Demp says. Is that one of the screen printing systems that was? No, I've had this for a while. I've had this for... I have a video when I actually unboxed this or when I got the crate of this. Um, it was like two years ago. Maybe like two or three years ago. And I was sweating like crazy. If you guys remember, I don't know if any of you guys saw that video or if you guys um, been on the channel since then, I don't know. But yeah, when I, when I first got this... Uh, and I set it up in the in the in the basement, and um, I got, still got the conveyor dryer in the basement that I have. Um, I don't know what I'm. That conveyor dryer is sitting there. I should I should I need to sell that conveyor dryer because it's just sitting there doing nothing. I need to get a conveyor dryer for in here, a little small one. I don't have any space, bro. I want a large format heat press, like a 42 by 32. No space for that, and I also want. A conveyor dryer no space for that and I also want a bigger DTF no space for that life man life but that this one this one is good this one came out good this one came out real good when your shop is complete I've been seeing your build, man. Levite is building a sh uh, a shop in the back of his. Is that the back of your house, bro? In the back of his house. What happened to my screen? What happened to my my screen? My. Oh, your screen is white. I I don't know. I can see everything. Oh. I do, right? I need to sell more stuff. <laughs> I need to sell more stuff. What do I need to sell? Tell me what I need to sell right now, and I'm gonna I'm gonna make I'm gonna put it up. What about that my screen? Now my screen is over here. It's over there, but I'm not using my screen right now because I'm using the big brother of the my screen, which is the Riso, right? The my screen I want to show to you guys because it's something that you can do at home, and it's something that the average person can get into screen printing doing, right? It wasn't meant for like the big time screen printers but i got a lot of feedback from people that have big screen printing equipment and i'm like why are they why are they even commenting it's not for you but you know the my screen i showed i wanted to show people because it's a little small thing that you can very very portable very very small if you want to get into screen printing and you can get into it on a budget really really small really really compact don't need a, you know, flash and you and don't need none of that stuff. It's easy. That's why I showed it, you know. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I just like doing everything. I like the art. I like the art of all of it. One more dry and that's done. I like the art of doing it all. I like the art of doing it all. Conveyor, the conveyor dryer. Get some eco frame. Tactical gear, I agree. What? <laughs> Damn. Levi has a lot of space, a lot of land. So if anybody wants to move in Levi, <laughs> Levi got space. Right, I'm done with this. I don't really like the way this came out, but this is the one person's gonna get. It's puffy. 
It's not perfect. I'm gonna do another one. It's dry. It's on there. Sorry, can't tennis, bye. Yeah. It's a tennis thing, guys. All right, one more. One more, one more, one more. I'm gonna do the other men's small. I have a question on the dark printable HTV. Is there a way to stop bleeding of the ink? Uh, I don't use dark printable HTV, so I, I don't know. Sorry. Anybody can, if anybody in the comments, can anybody answer that question? Yeah, I like doing, otherwise it gets boring. Exactly, Jamie, it gets boring if you do the same thing over and over again. It does get boring. We need to buy the DTF from Brother Ernest. I don't know who that is. I got to check him out. I got to, I got to check him out. Oh, 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 I know who that is. That's the guy with the beard. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll, he He's very knowledgeable. He knows a lot of stuff. He's very, very knowledgeable. I like, I watched his videos before. Screen printing some Bella, Bella canvas on them. Such a rookie, can y'all tell? All right, here we go. This one's gonna be real good. Nice thick dressing, if you will. Even pressure. It seems like my palette is too small. That's just trash. Uh. My palette is too small. My palette is too small. For the prints that I'm trying to print, my palette is too small. Yeah. I'm trying to use large prints and my palette's too small. For Dell, I need bigger palettes. Mess that up. It's not that bad, but I got a little smudgy at the top. Yeah, my palettes are too small for the prints that I'm trying to print. I would like to see you do some combo creations like uh, embroidery with DTF, screen printing with rhinestones. Yeah, that'd be dope. $4,500 for the 24 inch with everything you need. Oh my. $4,500 for, for what? Uh, DTF system? I don't want to do sign up for a screen printing tr training class. That's a good, that's a good, that's a good suggestion. I got screen printing friends. 
and I need to, I mean, Fidel knows how to do stuff, and I don't know. I don't know. Fidel's always busy working, though. He's out, When I go to his shop, he's, like, working, working, doing some serious stuff. So it's kind of hard to learn. You know? Fidel, why don't you have screen printing classes, bro? Fidel, why don't you have screen printing classes? Fidel, we need some screen printing classes, bro. <laughs> yeah, that's a good idea. Screen printing classes, yeah. Yeah, but the thing is, that system that Brother Ernest is selling, the DTF system, I want a big conveyor. I want the, the, the big printer with the big conveyor dryer. That's going to give me another system like this, probably another small system. I don't want another small system. Next system I buy for DTF is going to be something bigger that prints faster, that dries and does all that faster, bigger and better, you know? This ain't puffing like it did the other day. I don't know what's going on. Hey, with those screens very detailed, have you gauged the print? I don't know what that means. I don't talk screen printing talk, but Gauge the print, like I don't know what that means. I don't talk screen printing language. I'm not sure if, what that means. Lady Print Boss is hosting some uh, some printing in virtual, in person. By the way, okay, I got to check her out. Lady Print Boss. Okay, she does um she does um screen printing. I see the prestige has come down from the small unit and pricing quite a bit. <laughs> yeah, that L2. The L2 on every, on the website says that it's eight weeks, eight weeks lead time. So people are buying that thing, the L2. And that's the one I want because I think it has, I don't know how many print, print heads it has. I think it has two print heads. But that's the fast one that, you know, puts two DTFs side by side, or you can print out one large one. That's the one with the large with the large dryer shaker baker. Your videos are so helpful. Thank you. No problem, Ariana. I appreciate you watching the videos. I try to be as helpful as I can. You know what I mean? Okay. Okay, I gotta check that out then. It's super fast. Okay. This one is solid at the top and it's opaque at the bottom. Doesn't have enough ink down at the bottom. Just when you think you got it, man. I thought I had it. The first one came out so good. The first one came out so good and so dark. Look, I mean, so opaque and every other one is just average now what am i doing wrong i'm going back to my technique with one hand because the first one i did with one hand
Y'all already, y'all already know that's screwed up. <laughs> y'all already know that's screwed that one up. It's the Epsom Print Eight Channel. Oh, okay. So I got one, one good one out of all of these so far. This messing up belly camper shirts. <sighs> CTR shirts left. <laughs> Yeah, I went too hard with that top coating, and I don't know. Uh, oh, boy. I'll get it one day. I'm going to keep on practicing. I'm going to keep on practicing. I'm going to keep on practicing. <sighs> Must go faster. Okay. Ah, uh, screwing up. I got one more shirt. One more shirt. Dude. So far, I can give her one right there. And it's a little hazy. I call it 3D. <laughs> this one, the puff is weird, just like that one. The puff is weird on this one, so it's not going to work. Hot gun. I have one right over there, too. Hot gun. I'm hard-headed. I want to do it right. I got a, a heat gun over there, too. Right over there underneath my little station right there. I got a heat gun. All right. Last one. Am I going to get it right, y'all? What do you think? Take bets. I tried it on the sample shirt, and the sample shirt came out great. The sample shirt came out great. <laughs> this is a sample shirt, a messed up shirt. I tried it on this one. It came out great. Look, this 3D puff looks great. This is the very, very first one I did. Very first one I did. It came out great. Yeah, but every other one, they coming out like crap. All right, this is it. We're going to do this. We're going to do this. But see, now I got ink on here. I have ink on here now. So, and I think, I think the heat is starting to seep through my screen and, and cure the cure the ink. So that I think that's what's happening now. So I'm gonna call it a day and um just give her this one, which is the second one I did. I mean, it's not good, but it's not bad. It's not bad. It's a little hazy. Little hazy, but it's not bad. So, I'm going to give it to her for free. You know? It's all good. I don't like it. I can't give it to her. It's, a little, it's, a little, it's, it's too burnt. It's, it's burnt around right now. Oh. F-M-L. You guys know what that stands for? Expose? You mean, ex you mean um, flash? You mean when I flash? No, tomorrow's my birthday. I'm not coming in here tomorrow. Thank you, Sunshine. I appreciate it. I don't know. I think she would. All right. I'm going to wipe off the platen with this messed up shirt. I got 
bring y'all in this time. I'm gonna bring y'all in this time. Bring y'all in. Still tacky. Oh man, yuck. Gross. Screen printing is a mess. Definitely a mess. I'll tell you that. I should just use another platen. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. No idea what I'm doing. <laughs> when you have no idea what you're doing, you feel so helpless. <laughs> Still a little tacky. Still very tacky. I've been leaving the flash dryer on here too long. That's why it's like that, I think. But I'm gonna go ahead and do this because I don't got all day. Nobody got time for that. <sighs> My last Bella canvas shirt we need one shirt to come out really really good I still can't even line this up perfectly, like, you know what I mean? Still don't have that part down back yet. All right. All right, cool. Now I'm taking a chance to ruin this shirt because I think that this ink is probably exposed in there and I can't even clear it good. I can't even clear the screen good, I'm not sure. The heat might have um, exposed this, uh, I don't know. You guys know, you screen printers know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna put a nice thick coat on there on the top. All right, I can't see anything. I don't know if I'm doing it right. All right, cool. Nice thick coat on there. I might have messed this up already. Y'all like, oh my God, he done messed this up. All right, let me see. I'm gonna show y'all what I'm doing. Here we go. Here we go. And I'm gonna do two hands. I'm gonna try to clear the screen. It's not clearing. Cleared. Messed up. Clear. Not clear at the bottom. <sighs> Jesus Christ. I mean, not bad. A few light spots right here. I'm not satisfied. I'm gonna coat the screen again and carefully do it one more time.
I need to put more ink on here. What do you guys think? More ink? All right. All the letters are covered up. All right. I'm going to call it, I'm going to rename this video Rookie Screen Printing. Screen Printing for Absolute Rookies. All right. Line this thing up. And we're going to go over one more time. A little less pressure this time. But we got to clear the screen. We didn't clear the screen this time, so we got to go harder. <sighs> That's better. That's better. I don't have any ghosting or anything like that. It's a lot better. It's a lot better. Very clean. I don't even know if I want to risk it and go one more time. I think I'm just going to dry it. And, and, and that's going to be that. I don't really like the way the top part is. I see a little ink right there. You know what? I'm going to, I'm not going to coat it, but I'm just going to go one more time. I'm just going to go one more time. What's that? Um, before putting more ink, use the hot gun. Y'all know I'm hard-headed, right? <laughs> Y'all know I'm hard-headed, right? See, right here at the top is where I messed up. So I'm going to go right down one, one time over top of this, and I'm going to clear that top part right there. That didn't work. All right. All right, that worked. That worked. That smushed that top part down and that's it I'm not gonna hit it no more times I'm not gonna hit it no more times I'm just gonna flash it and this is what this is what they're getting let's I would lower you guys down so you guys can see the puff let me see let me see if I can show you guys the puff real fast as it's puffing up all right hold on let me flip the camera around here we go Y'all can see it's starting to bake and puff. Let's see. Y'all can see it puffing up a little bit. You screen print full time. So I guess you're having a good laugh right now. I guess you're having a good laugh right now since you screen print full time. See the back one's puffed up nicely. Mm -hmm. All the screen printers having a good laugh right now. That's good. It's okay. It's okay. All right. It's kind of thin. Not bad. I swear to God, my first time using this puff ink, it I did it so well. See the, those ones right there are nice and puffy in the middle. Let me let it breathe for a second. Little bit, let me see. A little tacky right here, just slightly. This area right here is not puffing up like the rest of the areas, but I can tell like it's dry enough, but I did not get enough ink down on this area to achieve the puffosity levels that I wanted to. I know that's not a word. I just like to say weird stuff. But overall, if I mess with this again, I'm going to screw it up. So I'm going to leave this alone. I'm going to hit it off one more time. Hopefully, I don't burn it. Actually, actually, it has a nice puff to it already. I can feel the texture. So I should leave it alone. But what's five more seconds going to do? One, two, three, four, five. All right, we are done with this. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> All right. All right, so we're good. It's nice and crisp. And the last shirt was a success. All right, not perfect, not perfect, right? 
but I think it I think it came out good for for somebody that does not know how to screen print like myself. We got a little bit of puff on there, not the puff that I wanted, but we got some puff, some puffy areas right here. I can feel it though; it's very very textured. It's very very dry. We got some extreme puffage right here at the top, at the front. You can't see it very well on the camera, but yeah, I think we did okay. All right. I'm just happy. I'm just happy that I got one good shirt. You know what I mean? I'm just happy that I got one. Sheesh. The things that we do. Now, the back of this one good shirt might be sticky as heck, but we got one. Success. How many shirts are you supposed to make? Just one. <laughs> just, just one. Let me text, text. Uh, um, on my way. On live. Well, I can't be on my way if I'm on live, but yeah. Yeah, I think it came out great, Be the Difference, right? Shout out to Be the Difference. Came out great. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I was only supposed to do one. The hovering wallet press. Yeah, I love my wallet press. Put more ink. That's what I think the problem was. I, that's what I see. Where were you at earlier, man? I needed you earlier, bro. I needed you earlier. Come on. You are late. Tell me you put more ink. Yeah, but I'm done. Um, this is good. This is what they're getting. Free shirt. You know what I mean? All right. So that's that. This is the Bella Canvas men's. No, this is the women's medium. Women's medium, which is the equivalent of the men's small. All right. And as a matter of fact, I might give her the other one that didn't come out so well as well, so she can give it to a friend or something like that. This one is the burnt one. Yeah, I'm gonna give this one to her too. I'll give her all of them. This one, this one. This one's not that bad, actually. Oh, <laughs> that's that's the tester. That's the, that's the tester that came out real good. Uh, yeah, these other two look like trash. They look like somebody threw up on them. Look at the pores. You can't. You guys can't see that. Look at the pores on this. It looks disgusting. Look at that. Y'all see that? It's disgusting. I am. I am because this 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 uh this dryer is hot. It's real hot. Yeah. And I was nervous. I really wanted to get one, so I was nervous. So that helped. That contributed to the sweat too. But yeah. Um, I got two good ones. This one was just too thick. And it, it was like really, really thick. But it's a good shirt. No, it's got that weird, the weird pores in there too. That's no good. See it? Yeah, no good. Yeah. Weirdness. All right, so we got the last good one. And the burnt one. All right, so we're going to go with that. All right, guys. Yeah. Success. <laughs> Half success. That's unplugged. DTF off. <clears throat> Rico R1000 on. Mystery box from Heat Transfer Warehouse. I bought that stuff. Had a little discrepancy early with, with um one of, one of you guys subscribers um he was saying would you still feel the same way about the Racon machines if you'd have paid for them I'm like bro who said I didn't pay for my machines I bought all my machines outright I get offended I get offended sometimes what you guys got to understand for for the other people that are gonna watch the video later on what you guys got to understand that influencers are people too. And just like regular people are sensitive, I'm a regular person. So when you assume things about me that I don't say, I'm going to take offense to it. And I'm going to 
talk about it just like anybody else would. Anybody in the world would say the things that I say, like, what gave you the impression that I didn't pay for my machines? What gave you the impression, like, who told you that? I never said that I didn't pay for my machines. I paid for my machines outright out of my own pocket, right? So it's like, don't assume that just because I'm an influencer and a few companies send me a few things here and there that I didn't pay for, the really, the, the really, really expensive stuff in here, I paid for every single. These machines, this machine, expensive DTG, paid for by me. Expensive, paid for by me. Both of these paid for by me. Paid for by me. Heat transfer out sent me this. Paid for by me. Paid for by me. Paid for by me. AA Print Supply sent me that. Paid for by me, paid for by me, paid for by me, paid for by me. All right? So I don't get all this stuff for free. You know what I mean? It's like crazy. Um, paid for by me, Caesar and Heat Transfer House collaboration. They sent me this, but I paid for that. I bought my SG-1000, Heat, uh, Heat Transfer House sent me my SG-500. I bought my Epsom F570, uh, F never put ink in it yet. Rakoma sent me this, but the majority of the stuff in here paid for by me out of my own pocket. You know why? Because as I make money, I consistently invest in my own business. I consistently buy stuff because I'm an influencer and the money that I make as an influencer, I don't go buy nice clothes and stuff like that. I keep on buying stuff so that I can keep on influencing and keep on trying different stuff so that I can show you guys what to and what not to get. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. I'm not done yet. Right? Paid for by me. Paid for by me. All right? So the majority of the things in here, oh, my Mighty Hoops. The majority of them paid for by me. Mighty Hoop just started and they don't send me free stuff. Like if I order one of these, they might send me an extra one just because I made videos, right? But the majority of all of my gear, all the big gear I paid for. So I just want to set that record straight, go on record and saying that. And I'm not knocking any influencer or any person that gets anything from a company for free, because guess what? If you wanna start your business, get it however you can get it and focus on what's important, getting that money. And we focus so much on which machine should I get? You know, what's the best this or what's the best that? Oh yeah, GraphTech, paid for by me. I did not get that from Heat Transfer House for free. Okay, so Stahl sent me this, Stahl sent me that, right? So a few things, right? I might get attachments, I might get vinyl, I might get this or that, but the big stuff, with the exception of that DTF printer, and the only reason why I got, oh, went pause. The only reason why I got the DTF printer now is because, you know, I've grinded my way to a nice size following, and I like consistently put out videos, so it's like, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm not beefing with Stan. I'm not beefing with Stan. Me and Stan are not beefing. <laughs> we just don't talk to each other. That's all. And that's per Stan. That has nothing to do with me. Stan stopped talking to me. So you can go talk to Stan about that. You know what I mean? This is not the time or place on my life to, to, you know, have that type of talk or, um, you know, uh, type of... <laughs> You see, I'm smiling about it, right? Because it's not that serious to me. But tell Stan to jump on the live with me. How about that? And let's clear the air so you guys can honestly know what's going on behind the scenes. How about that? Bet you won't. Exactly. All right. Um. <laughs> yeah. Last time I spoke to... The person in question, I told him, yo, don't let yourself 
mess things up for yourself. That's the last time I spoke to him. Haven't talked to him since. He stopped talking to me. All right, guys. So I'm about to be out of here. I got called home. Thank you guys so much for watching me fumble with my screen printing. Oh yeah, while I'm while I'm here, I might as well unbox this with you guys and show you guys what I purchased myself from Heat Transfer Warehouse. They didn't send that to me for free. Heat Transfer Warehouse does send me vinyl, um, but they don't send me what I want all the time. For those of you guys wondering how I'm doing this, I got my tripod on wheels, one of my tripods on wheels. But let's unbox this so you guys can see what's in here. So the reason why I want to tell you guys that, right? Thank you so much for the birthday wishes. The reason why I want to tell you guys that, right, is because it's really, really important to keep on investing in your business if you have a business, right? Really, really important because if you don't, what typically happens is people get into business to make money and then they start making money and they stop investing in the business and start spending the money that they're making and then the business goes belly up because you're doing the same thing in your business. That's why I constantly get different stuff because I don't want to make this boring, right? So I'm using the money that I'm making from the business to get more stuff from the business. And people get on here and assume that I got all this stuff for free. No. No. I got very, very... Not really. I didn't get very, very heated. I got a little... Like, bro, don't assume, don't assume anything. All right. So we got 15 yard brick HTV. Just to give you guys an understanding, right? This is what I get for myself when I buy it. When you have a large um, heat, heat uh, vinyl cutter, you get the large one, right? But if I ask Heat Transfer House to send me something, they give it to me, but. I'll get that, right? So when you get this, you're limited to how large you can make your design. But that's the sample. Granted, it's a lot, and I appreciate it like crazy, but nonetheless, I'm limited to the size. And you, know, you guys know I like to make big stuff, right? I'm limited to the size that I can make. So when I want what I want, I just buy it. And when he, I ask he transfer out to send me something, they send me the baby one, <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. That's okay because I can still make content with it. I can still use it, and I and I still appreciate it because guess what? They don't have to. They, they don't have to send me anything. So I appreciate whatever they send. I appreciate whatever any company sends. You know what I mean? Never forget that. There was a time that I wish I would have got anything. So I'm very very pleased to get whatever anybody sends me. All right, so. Once again, bought it myself. It's a shame that I have to say that, <laughs> but people be assuming stuff. This is the red glitter, red glitter. And you got some influencers that's been getting money for years that spends it all and don't invest nothing back into the business. You know, I'm not, um, um, no shots fired, by the way. This is Caesar Red Brick. Caesar Red Brick and Caesar Brick White. And this is the glitter, the red glitter. Something's missing. I'm supposed to have a glitter white. Yep, my glitter white is missing. It's not in here. Maybe I didn't order it. I doubt it. My glitter white is missing. I know I ordered glitter white. Because I needed glitter white, not the glitter red. All right, well, I'll check my order and see what happens. But guys, thank you so much for tuning in this evening. Um, 
this was very, very interesting live. So, uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Tomorrow's my birthday, so um, I'm about to go. I'm not going to turn up. I'm not a turn up guy. I'm about to go relax. <laughs> about to go relax, and then tomorrow I'll relax. My turn up consists of, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's sit down. Let's take a break. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's take, take a break. Yeah, yeah. I age appropriately. I turn up age appropriately. All right. So, yeah, y'all. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate all you guys just slid through. And I'll talk to y'all on 